Hello, my name is Mary Ann Buddy, and I serve as the Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Washington, D.C. A few years ago, I was at a leadership conference at Church of the Resurrection United Methodist Church, and one of the speakers was Tony Morgan, who is the head of the Unstuck Group. And in his presentation, he gave an overview of the life cycle of congregations starting from the days of excitement and momentum when a church is in the throngs of new life to the place of sustained health where all congregations wish to be. And then on the declining side of the life cycle, the stages that are marked first by maintenance and then preservation and then life support, uh, the ways that congregations experience decline. And as he was talking, I realized that he was presenting such a helpful lens that would translate to the congregational leaders in the diocese I serve. Now in our diocese, as my role as bishop is to provide leadership support and spiritual guidance for about 88 congregations, all in different phases of their life, all in different parts geographically in our region. But I knew, I had a sense that this language would speak to virtually all of them. And so while Tony is not of the Episcopal Church tradition, and we don't always see, um, we in the Episcopal Church don't always know what it means to invite other people from other denominations to come into our world, I asked the clergy leaders to take a listen to him and to see how his ideas and his template might strike them. And they were riveted. They were so impressed with how he presented his work. And most important, the practical suggestions that he and others of the Unstuck group had for congregations at each stage in their life cycle. So as we were talking about all of this with the leaders of our congregations, I mentioned to Tony that we were about to embark on a strategic planning process for the entire diocese. And he said, well, you know, the Unstuck Group does that kind of judicatory denominational planning as well. And so as we looked at different organizations who might guide us through that work, we decided once again to ask Tony Morgan and the Unstuck Group to lead us as an entire diocese through a strategic planning process. It was extraordinary, and for me as a leader, it was transformational. Um, and it allowed me also to take the resources of the diocese and the staffing of the diocese and align it with the strategic goals that we had discerned together. Now, all of this happened as we unrolled all of this to our community. All of this happened right before uh, the, the full implications of the COVID-19 pandemic uh, were thrust upon us all. And in a sense, you could say, well, what good is a strategic plan when you're in crisis? Well, let me tell you, it was a lifesaver because as we navigated our way and did our best to support our congregational leaders, the fact that we had those plans and those goals and that pr those priorities clearly in place allowed them to be a North Star for us as we prayed and discerned and redirected resources to help our congregations. The leadership team was there for us, not only through that initial process, but at key junctures afterwards when we contracted with them again to help us do refreshes of our plans after we came through a significant season, to help us coach our diocesan staff and leadership team in such a ways as to optimize our performance and to keep us on track with these short-term goals that are in fulfillment of long-term objectives. Now, we haven't completed all of our strategic goals. I'm speaking to you while we're still in the thick of it, as it were, but I have never been more hopeful more or excited to be doing my work, in part because we have a bit of clarity, we have a document and a series of principles and values that sustain our work, and we have partners and friends from the Unstuck Group who are, who are there for us when we need them, offering encouragement, support, prayer, and the most amazing array of resources that anyone could ask for.